Hey everyone, welcome back to maybe the very last episode. I have no clue. Uh, maybe. Now, anyway, let's let's just get started. Now, I think I I don't know if I read this, but let's just refresh our minds. After all the searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? Oh God. Let's go with yes. I oh no my hands trembled as I pulled back the layers of my cloth there at the center under all the dirt and mess was my beloved Rachel or was my beloved my Rachel her arms were bruised you know all over and slashed repeatedly her clothes were ripped and torn and even through all the sickening blood, it was obvious she'd been stabbed to death. Jeez. The knife I had carried all this way suddenly seemed like a poison. What had happened, Rachel? Who did this to you? I thought about all I had seen and wondered if, I, if any of it could help me figure out who had done this. And when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on my shaky legs and made my way back upstairs. This makes me think... This makes me think, what if he's the character that did this? I mean, the man who was in the other house who was dead, he's angry. He's, he's had financial issues. Rachel had wanted to leave. He told uh, Norman to stay away from Rachel. He's probably the killer. Jeez. Reluctantly exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. Uh-oh. Oh, man. And a trophy. Maybe I would use some of Rachel's travel books and find some place to go. My wallet within its contacts intact. I either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Let me store that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? Yeah. Didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents, but what does that mean? The achievement that I got was a grim discovery. Hmm. If you haven't seen it. This was the old photo of that other man and his wife, I assume. Oh, man. I recalled those faded remains I had found deep underneath this house. What had he done there? What did I think? I was uh, was the man, that man involved in this whole mess somehow? He had to. Definitely. Those tunnels, those odd tools in his house. And means it was... Whoa! I know what I'm, what's going on. I know what's going on. Then the... Yeah, if you broke the pieces that remained of this mirror, I could see my face growing pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look at it again. It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. Should I check out any of all these other rooms still? Deflection that grimy glass was only a shadow, a whisper. I still love the old time trauma of that claw-footed bathtub, though it seemed like cold comfort back then. The quiet in that room unnerved me terribly. Let's go downstairs. It was a letter I had taken from the post box. Who had, who had it out for Norma? Who sent that in that letter? Must have been someone from the neighborhood. At least somebody wanted it to look that way. 
I wasn't sure what to think. Did Norman... Did he murder Rachel? He couldn't have! The way Norman had ended up dead himself, whoever sent that threatening letter must have got to him. But... Who the hell was that? It, it's you! I swear it's you. I still had no idea. It was on that tape I found in the garbage. If only I'd found a way to watch it. From now on, I'd have no way to get angry. You don't want to get angry with me for stupid things like buying this TV. Rachel's dead. That was very insensitive. Jeez, that was... Oh gosh. It's a little worrying me. Old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. He used the digital passcode, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I left it somewhere. I lifted the notebook I had taken from the forest, and it were the names that had been written down. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne. <laughs> why, did, why did I read it like that? Holly, Rose, and Rachel. Recall the noise. I saw a scratch out on that old desk deep within those musty tunnels. Is the man in the house really up to something? This reminds me of deep sleep. And deeper sleep. And everything from the series. Deepest sleep. Seemed like I'd seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but at least I had to take my Oh gosh. I'm remembering the words that were on the wall. Don't. I was guilty. I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. No! Oh gosh! Took the knife and kept it firmly in him. Paul, put it down, please. It's not gonna end, dude. Now that I stood there, I realized I couldn't go back into that room again. I had already seen too much. I needed to put an end to the situation one way or another. What, I can't go that way? What's he, what's he gonna do? Is this the front door? The mail still sat there, heaped on the floor. How long did Rachel been lying in the basement? We need to escape the night. What about the knife I still carried? I wonder, even if I left, would it really be over? No. Wow, I peered at the knife as it turned away. One place I thought, where would that be? Okay, there's a room that I did not go in up here. It's a key card I found in the factory, the one that may slip to the door. It seemed to me that was probably Norman's, but if that wasn't true, what did he plan to do with the plan? I think, but I think Norman was going back to the factory? He had to. Who else would have been? Norman, what are you doing back there? The laptop was dead, but I found some notes and loose paper in the drawer where I found the key. There's some yellow sticky note with eight five digit code. Yes, that is a code to the safe. Not didn't even bother to read that. Sorry. <laughs> we just we gotta get to the bottom of this. Now is it in here? What? Stop it. Oh that's the bathroom. Oh, uh, let's go into the room. There it is. The code I found should have let me access the safe by trying to open it. The code worked. I pulled open the small safe door and peered inside. There was a photo in there of Rachel and I when we first moved to town, and there we were smiling outside the front of the house, which looked like a real mess. We looked happy, though. Odd, I couldn't remember who took that photo. Inside the safe was also an envelope. The front of it read, Do not open until I tell you. I guess it was a good time, as I need to see what was inside. Did I open this you? Yeah. I am reading through this quick, because I'm really trying to get to the bottom of this. 
I tore open the envelope. I touched the mic, I'm sorry. I tore open the envelope and removed the yellow lined paper inside. On it was a letter written in hand that looked familiar. The letter read, I know this whole event has probably been difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me. Well, you can. That isn't meant to be an excuse, but I hope you can better understand what I've, why I've done what I've done. Moving to this town seemed like such a dream, a quiet place to get established, to live out our lives and be together. But you know as well as I do that things quickly changed. Your drinking was one thing, but as you grew more distant, as you retreated into that world of yours, it was clear you didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you've never needed me at all. But it took all of this to make you realize. In the end, though, you may never forgive me for this. You may never forgive yourself, but this is probably for the best. It'll be healthier for this. I'm just sorry it had to happen this way. Jeez, man. That was deep. So it was him who killed. Let's check this room out again. So he started drinking. His drinking drove him insane, I'm guessing. It caused him to kill his wife. I think that's all we needed to see in here. But His drinking caused all of this, and um, he killed his wife because she wanted to leave. I needed a new eye. I need. I knew I needed to skip the nightmare, but what about the knife I still carried? Even if I left, would it really be over? So did I leave the house forever? I don't know what to do with the knife. I really don't know what to do with the knife. Ah, jeez. I don't know what I... I don't know what I need to do with the knife. I've seen everything. Let's go back down there. He knows what he did now. Let's go back down there. What? There's nothing left to do. I guess we gotta go. We gotta go. Let's go. Yes. Living in this town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped some way to stay grounded. Kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. But even the fact, when the factory closed, everything changed. I guess it was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and powers, piles of doctors' reports, but nothing ever seemed to help. Not even drinking. But I swear I had tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I, I know Rachel had tried. I know she had left. She had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night. I had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew I was a final. It was a final act of long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was a final cruelty. I'd wish I'd remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man had, I had found in that house had something to do with all of this. They've killed Rachel. It started to seem that there were too many things I had seemed to think otherwise. Now that I thought of it, those sewers were a terrible mystery of what had happened there. I was lucky in my way to even find my way out of there. But I never did find out what was on that tape that I now kept. What might have shown to me. I'd found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout town. 
why the hell would I have been out there? I might sleep walking gone to some new uh, extreme. He thought that it that I couldn't account for my whereabouts, but I knew, but knew I had been to that forest and even Norman's place. Well, it was terrifying. I didn't know what that meant, but at least I had recovered my things. Hopefully, I thought I could cover my tracks so I wouldn't be blamed for all of this. Deep within those woods, though, was was where things had became truly awful. Finding that notebook only made things worse. Rachel's name had been on that list. So what terrible plot was she a part of? There was a similar list of names on the desk back in those tunnels. What was that connection? I knew Norman wasn't completely innocent in all of this. He was obviously going back to the factory, rooting in those lockers. But had he brought that poor guard I found to his end? It certainly seemed so. But I almost didn't want to believe it. After the factory, I thought my, I might have found some solace if I could just get to Norman's store. But all I had found were, this more, was, were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really consider it, that's when I should never, shouldn't have seen it coming. I uh, should have seen it coming. Damn, Norman. How did... You get mixed up in all this. Ah! Sorry about that, guys. I knew you weren't a perfect man. None of us are, but you didn't deserve this. Maybe whoever done <laughs> you and was responsible for the other murders that had happened in, this, in that town. At the very least, I was convinced you and Rachel were killed by the same person. I sincerely hoped would find some peace my friend I knew I would never would I never would when I had marched through the rain towards home I desperately clung to the hope that this would end and I guess in a way that it did but how could I have known how hopeless it was I started to feel as disoriented as when I sleepwalk think of it now I guess I should have known from the terrible silence that greeted me when I stepped into our first step into our house and stood in the kitchen. There was no sound of television, even the air was still or radio. Uh, but 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 seeing Rachel there lying ruined and discarded in the basement, that was a horror I could never have imagined. I didn't know if I'd ever find the answers I craved, but I knew that somehow that other man I had found was responsible for this. If I, if not directly, he must have been at hand Rachel's death. So what was I doing in that damned house of his? Had I found out? Had I killed him? My damned condition made it difficult to know. Memories and time frames are always a mess, I could never be sure. Knowing that man was dead, though, was cold comfort. My wife had gone, and no matter what had happened to me now, I was lost forever. Jeez, this is a lot of ringing. As I swung open the door and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again cold and inert, shook me from head to toe. What would I do now? Who could I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the, the neighbors knew that the front lawn was soft and giving, me, giving beneath my feet. I couldn't shake the urge of that. I shouldn't, I couldn't, or I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. Wow, that was good. That was very good. There are still some questions as to who did this. Like, I know we should. I don't know. Who did this? Who did all of this? He doesn't remember it, because he's been asking so many questions, it was probably him. <laughs> the end. Great game. Amazing game. Uh, it was awesome. I, I loved it. I enjoyed it. There's, there is, it can get confusing sometimes. The audio is amazing. All the sound effects were great. It was a good style. Uh, the one thing I did not enjoy was just the saving system. 
Uh, the saving system, however, was very unique. I just sometimes when you know if there's a distraction or a disturbance uh, and I'd have to quit, I would be moved back. You know, sometimes you know you could forget something. You know, um, but otherwise, very unique game. Um, it's an awesome game, honestly. And how? What other things can I say about it? I don't know. Just a really intricate story. Uh, a little bit of it was a little hard to understand, a little hard to grasp, and there were so many questions as to who did it. Like I just said, the past of the wife. You know, were they always in a bad situation? Were they? And has this drinking been around for their entire relationship or did it just I believe it just started I think so I think it just started when they moved into the house and things got worse um, when the factory shut down who killed the guard I'm not really thinking it's Norman I'm not really sure 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 um, but it was a great game I enjoyed it I loved it awesome and this is the last episode um, the biggest delay ever, but it's amazing, amazing story, worth it. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's the end of this series. I hope everyone who watches our videos enjoyed the the story, enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, there's not many of you, uh, but. Hopefully we get to a time where we just get a lot of viewers and a lot of people to entertain um, Most of our channels or channels our videos are very chill. It's not too much going on. It's just something to play in the background, you know uh, But thanks for watching uh, Please subscribe Please hit that like button. It really means a lot to us um, And I think that's it. That's the end of the series This is Danny Bye-bye.